the to Chrome Arm and myself. Thanks. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to record this one. You got this one under control, right? Yep. All recording. Just get start your audacity and we'll get going. All right. Here we go. We do have what is this yellow buff represented by the color red up top with uh, this is solution down bottom. Sorry, a little bit of a brain fart there. Solution as the color blue. Yeah, um, switched up from last game. Yeah. Led led by Soul here, the Tarek player. Not, he, what is that, it's the Blood Crystal something or other? Not the pink Tarek that Keisha was hoping for. But certainly <laughs> he is calling the shots, man. Not a bad choice, actually. A tanky support, yeah. actually good for calling shots. Uh, always on the front lines, always ready for his, his dazzle on the proper target. In this match, no doubt that player is going to be Katarina in yeah, a teamfight yeah. situation. Look, this looks like uh, symmetrical invades here, although do note the ward placement mm -hmm. of yellow buff here at their friendly red. Gonna spot, in fact, are they already spotting? They may have caught sight of Ez. No, they didn't. Um, so both teams yeah. unaware of the positioning. However, definitely the sight battle in favor of yellow buff right now if yeah. they do go for this red. Yeah, Solution to can't see anything. They're just kind of like alone in the woods. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely Yellow Buff is, is being a little more cautious. I don't think they want to invade. I think they were just more looking out for an invade. Um, what do you think they're going to do here? I mean, Shivana always wants to go red first, pretty much. Um, so do yeah. you, you think he's going to go for the steal? I mean, it kind of looks like he is at this point, to me, anyway. Uh, yeah, I do. I do think that Solution is going to go for this steal. However, we might see a very swift response from Yellow Buff as they will catch immediate sight of it from this ward placement. They're going to even grab Red, or excuse me, Wraiths first. Shivana with yeah, that fast are. clear, that there. W now, active. Now, no they, problem. Have the now yeah, they have the sight. There's the yeah. sight. There's the ping, actually. We might see a very fast response for this, or we might see them counter by just stealing a Red of their own. It's really up to the... Yeah, it's going to have to happen right now or not at all. It does appear the solution is going to grab this no problem. And probably Amumu will go downstairs and grab... grab uh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. look at Jack this! With what? Steal. Jack with a steal! stole... That was the very ill-advised steal. I'm, not, um, I'm, well, I'm impressed he pulled it off. It really wasn't a great idea. Now, he, they did take a, effectively take the red away from Shivana, but that's a very small um, victory, considering that they just gave up first blood for it. Shivana is going to have to go back and heal most likely. It would be very wise of her, too. Now, she's going to pop her potions instead. Um, I suppose she's just trying to save as much time as she can. But I don't see the reason why. I mean, she just got uh, the experience from a kill, and she just got wraiths. So she, she really should be going back to heal, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Yeah, I can't believe that move from Jax. I'm not really sure what he was thinking there. Uh, I mean, he did, I mean, you know, watching a red steal is always fun, but it didn't really do him any good at all because yeah. uh, he instantly died right afterwards. Yeah, um, yeah level so one, first blood. using his leap there, That not not smart at all in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> But he did it, man. The, the assist, too, in granting those assists, the enemy team going to put them significantly further ahead in uh, in the global goal counters right now. Sorry for jumping around a little bit. I did want to catch that one on camera, a little bit of replay action. The jump to live function not working quite well. Although, look at this. Chaos yeah, so with the goofy. rise mid lane is going to be handling this Katarina nicely. Could we see a oh, level an three gank coming. here Amumu from Amumu? Needs if, to go he lands this. This, yeah, if he lands this banish toss combined with a shampoo, it could be a very effective gank. He needs to make it happen. Looks like Rise is trying to... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Just dancing he's around a little bit now. here. Here we go. Um, here comes the bandage toss from following me on Twitter. Oh, the shumble comes first. No, he does land the bandage toss, but not enough damage to secure yeah, the kill. No ignite used there. Uh, overall, though, going to force him back. So actually, pretty strong play there from Mumu. He did spend a lot of time waiting for that gank opportunity. Going to put him slightly behind Shivana, whose clear is one of the fastest in the game. Uh, however, he's going to go grab up his wolves. Very nicely there. Down bottom, it does appear that uh, Yellow Buff is being pushed into their tower by this Ezreal Tarek Harass combo here. <clears throat> uh, what's your take on this one? Is, is Urgot even concerned about this? He's one of the better chances for last hitting yeah. under the tower. Yeah, Urgot uh, is not concerned about this. The only th the only downside to this Urgot Soraka combo is that they don't have the kind of escapes to dodge junglers, but by standing under the tower, they don't have to worry about that. Uh, meanwhile, Tarek and Ezreal are, are virtually ungankable. I can say as an Amumu player that looking at this combo, I would only I would only babysit this lane if it was absolutely desperately necessary because I'm not going to get any ganks from here. I mean, that, that's almost like... It, they Urgot and Soraka just have to stay alive. That's all they have to do because Urgot has such long range and spam and spam ability. He can keep up on farm. And there'll be no sweat, basically. So this lane is basically going to be real quiet. Yeah. Hiding in the That's tower. That's a great point. Farming. You know, I mean, as a, as a Amumu player, I would not want to kink Ezreal. So instead, uh, Amumu's going to want to concentrate on top. And he's going to want to kill Olaf. Because before level 6, Olaf is basically wide open for ganks. There's almost nothing you, that he can do to escape. Yeah. So he needs to he needs to terrorize top lane. The other reason he needs to terrorize top lane is Jax is down a death. So that's Take a really a bad position to be in. 
Sorry to cut you off. We do have a gank attempt here from... Oh, there's the Rune Prison. The red buff is going to snare Alex Pie a little bit. Shivana wants to chase with her movement speed buff, but not enough. Nice not enough. nice escape there from Alex Pie. Uh, it does appear that Katarina is slightly behind farm. Actually, no, she's ahead on farm. Wow, unexpected given that she has been harassed quite a bit there. Although I did want to say, great analysis down bottom uh, as <laughs> as this this blue team combo is super hard to gank. Arcane Shift, yeah. an excellent combo uh, with uh, not only Dazzle, but also to escape Urgot's spam. However, yes. Urgot can pretty much spam all day with the Infuse uh, from Soraka. So both sides actually very potent comps. And it appears that the tables have turned uh, given that now uh, Yellow Buff is now pushing Solution under the tower. So we well, might only, see a response from They're only pushing so they can recall. They're only put, it looked, looked like a tower push to me. I was about to say that. But they're just pushing in the tower so they can recall. They're going to let uh, Solution push back up to the tower. That's how, whenever I play support and I play with a, a AD that I'm very comfortable with, that's what we do. Basically, if it's time to it's time for him to buy, then we'll just push up into the tower and blow everything. And, you know, maybe get a kill before we get there. Maybe not, depending on which champion I'm playing. And then uh, go back and buy and then come back up to the tower. So they're, they're going to wait for um, Solution to push back into the more comfortable position. Urgot and Soraka do not want to be past the river. They're going to be in serious trouble if they are. The silence from uh, Soraka only does so much. Shivana isn't even dependent on casting a spell in close range. I mean, it's only going to stop her from casting, what, fireball? So mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, that, so that, 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 Sora that silence is not going to disable Shivana that much. So basically, their, their, defense, their way to defend each other is staying under the tower and taking advantage of range. We had a yeah. uh, little bit of a sortie in mid as I was saying that, but it was kind of anticlimactic because uh, yeah. Katarina blew her her ult on a manless rise and did almost nothing. He's yeah. not even going back. That's how little it did. Great point. It does appear that Yellow Buff is taking your advice and dancing under the tower. They're probably the wisest choice. Although, look at top. Jack's yeah. super behind on EXP because of that first yeah. blood he gave up. Yeah. And that's going to put him way behind. Look at this exhaust mid lane on Katarina. She wants to suicide and go for the kill on Rise. Going to be successful. Look at that one. Oh, no. Could he get away? Look at this. Death Lotus and Mubu comes in for the save and the Ignite's not enough to take her down. What Very a close. play from Alex Pai. Huge dancing around the <laughs> Shivana. Man, that brother. was nice. <laughs> yeah, probably his little brother. I'm going to pop back 15 seconds, or that's going to have to be about 30 seconds. If something happens, just yell, and I'll jump up to live. Um, so for the face for the sake of this uh, recording, we see that Shivana's coming up for the gank on Katarina. This would be a terrible time for Katarina to go deep on Rise, but she's like, no, uh, I'm Alex Pai. I'm going to just jump in, and uh, wow. He actually took him out without his ult. He just used a couple of basic abilities. I think he did use pretty his nice. actually. Uh, wow. No, wow. actually, you're you're right. It is off cooldown right now. I looked yeah. it, so he did use it slightly there and, and canceled it, but apparently not. Moom is going to pick up this blue buff now. Uh, do know that Olaf still considerably further ahead on EXP because of that first spot. I really have yeah. to fault like me else like us on Facebook for doing that. Yeah, uh, looks like Katarina looks like she wants to do some Under roaming. The bot tower perhaps, got in a bad position. It would be wise for Katarina to try to gank yeah, Olaf. Bottom, as bottom, bottom. Yeah, bottom. Shivana is going to close in for that gank. It does appear that they were overextended, but Amumu with the save. Can we see a curse? Urgot does survive. They might be able to turn this one around. Frosty's going to pursue Urgot, though, and going to be able to pick him off with a fireball. Oh, but he pulls back because of this Katarina closing in from behind. Oh, you do not man. want to get Death Lotus in this situation. Everyone's low on HP, but here comes the Shampo. She's going to be able to grab the kill on Ez there and maybe go. go for a tower dive. Can we see a triple kill from Katarina? Does she have her flash up? No, but maybe able to secure this kill no less. Here comes the shop. Oh man, so exciting. She's gonna die this Tark. And he heals up. Oh, just in time to survive yeah. this damage. She's gonna sustain two hits from the tower. She's Meanwhile, not quite fed enough to take out Tark, but they are gonna they're gonna take out Shivana. The reason they split their Tark and Shivana was basically as a sacrifice play. When they split, uh, Shivana was basically saying, you know, uh, I give myself for you, Tarek, so Tarek could escape. <laughs> Because uh, Shivana knew there was no way she could survive. I mean, we do that stuff all the time. I support. think she should have pursued that kill on Urgot. I mean, they had to cover their losses on that one. But hey, uh, these yeah. are the better players, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and. No, submit I, to I think it was the right move. I think it was the right move because if they had both gone the same way, Amumu and Ta and uh, what's his name and uh, Al and uh, Al uh, Alex Pie. I almost call you call him Apple Pie in the, in the last podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. trying not to do that. Yeah, Alex Pie. Um, was uh, basically a huge threat. He could jump in and ult both and kill both. So uh, Shivana's basically saying, I'm going to run to the tower and split these up. So they don't That's have the Amumu stun. They don't have the Amumu stun to follow up with the cat ult. So um, I think that was the right move. I mean, that's yeah. the same thing that, uh, that I like to do in those situations. 
solution definitely fearing the lotus rightfully so however this overextension from uh yellow buff's bot lane is proving to be problematic as that shivana could have went seriously awry but they were yes. able to handily negate that due to the roaming of alex pi who by chance or perhaps by skill has managed yeah. to actually outpace rise on farm in addition to her roaming i'd like to see her help the top lane at this point hopefully yeah. we'll see some sort of a catarina snowballs this was so fun to watch with that tome, it does appear she wants to go for probably a Hextech gun or a revolver after her magic pen boots here. What do you yeah, think about Yeah, we definitely need to see more bullying top lane. You're absolutely right. Not just Cat, but the jungler as well. Mumu and Cat can do so much damage to Olaf. The only problem is they waited till he got level 6. <laughs> They've mm -hmm. waited a little too long, so they missed out on a couple of easy gank On that note, we might see a very nice bandage toss there here from go. Follow Me on Twitter. There we go with the aggression from Jax. Here comes the toss. Will we see the curse go down as well? There's the... Oh, can't uh, be disabled! No. Demacia! Yeah. Easily much, negating that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fortunately, that, that's, the, that's the pitfall of attacking after level 6. The only other thing they could have done there was uh, open with the bandage toss, and that would at least give him a second or two of reaction time before he hits R. I mean, that's Absolutely. really not anything worth, you know. He's going to try again. Look at this. Yet again, yeah. he's shrouded. Olaf probably unaware of this, but maybe his his gamer senses are picked up on it. I wouldn't be surprised. Purge proving to be a yeah. very strong top laner. Oh boy, oh, here we go. He oh, he's wandered right here. into Mumu. Here comes Jax. There we go. Too. Where's that yeah, toss? Now There's the he's curse. In trouble. Easily gonna dive this for the kill. Not even necessary as the ignite went down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Strong play from following me on Twitter, doing exactly what he needs to do, which is winning the advantage for Jax up top. That's really the only lane that they should be concerned yeah. about right now. Yeah, it's I gonna agree. take a lot for solution to come back from this. It looks like a Moomin wants to go for a gank on Rise. Is that even necessary, given how powerful the Katarina player has proven to be? Here we go. There's the flash from Rise. Oh, dodging Ooh, the nice banish toss. Gonna save his life there. Very Just nice barely shoot. missing the range of that tower with the Rune Prison. Super strong play from Chaos right there. Props to yeah, him. Yeah, that was really good. As an Amumu player, I cringed a bit when I saw him juke that. <laughs> uh, yeah. You hate that. You hate doing that, man. It's embarrassing, especially in pub games. And like, noob Amumu can't hit skill shots, you know. No, but yeah. that was a really good juke. That was really good. Yeah, absolutely. Head fake. Uh, let's take a look at the AD's farm. Is this, we haven't really been drawing too much attention to this lane. Not a whole lot of jungle intervention in the past five minutes or so. Ezreal with 46 versus Urgot's 92. Yeah. So the infuse harass has proven to dominate this kill lane down here. Yes. Uh, this is really the first time we've seen Solution so far in the tournament losing their bot lane. And they've gone up against some fantastic players. So obviously, uh, Shadow Breach cannot contend. Look at this! Look at this yeah. Urgot. He's about ready to set up a tent underneath enemy, uh, underneath enemy <laughs> tower right now. Yeah, and look at him, yeah. full mana, no problem. Looks like Katarina wants to try gank downstairs, using that Death Lotus under the tower. Super strong strategy as she doesn't have her her spell vamp yet. Look at this, a pickaxe. What is she building, man? Um, <laughs> that's it's. I mean, Katarina's a hybrid champion with uh, with hybrid uh, ratio, so that's. I mean, that's all I could say about maybe it. Maybe really maybe a Gwinsu, but there we go with the uh, with the Death Lotus on Rise. Given that she is lacking no ability damage. power, it just didn't do enough damage there. Yeah. Well, that, uh, that in its Rise. <laughs> The yeah. other problem is she's using it on Rise, so that's a problem. He's also got his uh, his MR cloak already, which isn't a huge amount, but it's more than nothing. So he's probably also running... What's his MR at now? He's got 72 MR, so he's running massive MR runes as well as getting his cloak. So yeah, he's he's got a lot of MR, and you're completely right. Katarina is not building for what you'd call a pure um, uh, snowball you know, traditional like Paiyub style build. Um, yeah. They, she can't, she's not building for that, so the damage she did on him is pretty poor. She's still really, really effective. I mean, I think, I forget which of her skills off the top, if it's her Bouncing Blade or her Shumpo. One of them scales with AD really well, and uh, maybe that's the reason why she's able to get that, uh, that really you can nasty look up the values itself. really quickly. Uh, it does appear, mm, it's probably, it's gotta be her Q, the Bouncing Blade. She's leveling that first, no. possibly the reason she picked up that, uh, that pickaxe interesting to see him go with more yeah. of a hybrid build though he did have a window of opportunity to kind of snowball out of control i feel if he had gone up top for a gank on rise or excuse me on uh on olaf yeah yeah i think that they should have gone up top for ganks definitely speaking of ganks though down bottom there's actually no um action from shivana at all that leaves me leaving ergot and soraka to just farm in peace the we said the biggest weakness of their comp down there is that they have to stay behind the river but they're not having to do that because they're the uh, enemy ganker from solution is just not uh, not performing there they're not getting ganks from either. Uh, there's a <laughs> jungle versus jungle, and then they, they parted ways amicably. <laughs> you know, they didn't really do anything. But um, they're, they're not getting any kind of, any real kind of pressure from mid roaming. Mm -hmm. They're not getting pressure. Meanwhile, cat's roaming everywhere. You know? We so could see a dive here. Needs more roaming. Yeah. 
from Solution on Jax. It would be so unwise if they did pursue that because Katarina just closed in for reinforcement. No, they're going to disperse now. Olaf needs to get back to farming as he Here does comes have Shivana an opportunity bot. to get some significant free farm upstairs. Shivana is spotted by the ward. Urgot and Soraka yes. are going to respond accordingly. Blue team pings all over their jungle. Look at this. Calling oh for Frosty to pull back. What is he doing? He could easily get picked off here. Oh, goodness. Will we see a red steel here? <laughs> oh, man. Look at the positioning of Shivana. I'm not sure if she's aware of this right now. Taking a look at Vision. Yes, absolutely. She just caught sight of that. Calling for reinforcements. Where's that Ezreal play? Maybe he could ult this red, try to steal that one up. There's uh, five of them here. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't try anything, honestly. i just give him that red and run away with all five of them. Maybe you can catch them as they disperse, but uh, no, that was... <laughs> Blue didn't even... Solution didn't even uh, contest that whatsoever. So they're also going to get an uncontested dragon out of that. I don't see that... I don't see yeah. that uh, Solution's in any position to contest anything right now. I mean, Jack's no. just wandering around the map and no one's challenging him. Olaf is just farming away up top. You know, like, what team fight? You know? <laughs> and, um, you know, and so Shivana knows that diving in would be total suicide. She's got an Oracle's team. Too. She's got a little bit of responsibility to her team uh, to not just go stumbling into uh, five-man groups, you know, and dragons. So, um, yeah, that's this is a really bad position for Solution. I mean, they pretty oh, much this just could be really nasty. Look at Shivana looking to shroud a gank. Will we see the Charizard? There's a three players oh. downstairs from Yellow Buff. Or excuse me, solution. solution. Are they going to pursue the Urgot right now? Gosh, Possibly the infuse proving him. to be ineffective, but not enough damage from Ezreal. He's wow. so malnourished right now, and yes, Urgot. Such a tanky AD, not able to make anything happen back there. Unfortunate. Ur, yeah. Urgot built double Dorns, which is not that you know unusual at all. It's a fairly standard um, amount of hit points for an for an AD. So combine that with the armor buff from uh, in, from the heal, Astro Blessing. Combine that with his own uh, his own self shield. Um, they just couldn't hurt him at all. And yeah, they are malnourished. Absolutely, both of them are. Shivana um, just does not not have that many successful ganks. 16 minutes in, she's got one assist. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that assist was actually from the very beginning of the game, their first blood on Jax. So I don't think that that even really counts. <laughs> I mean, Possibly. they barely got anything, yeah. Um, yeah. Olaf's the only one on their team with any farm because he's been ignoring the game and just farming up top like, you know, NASA style the whole time. So um, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying that, that that's the reason he's the only one with farm. The rest, you know, have just not been getting it done. Ezreal's getting pressured. 17 minutes, 70 farms. It's kind of unacceptable, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's they can't win like this. They can't win with an AD that uh, is so far behind. I mean, it, not not because Shadow Breach is incapable of farm. It's really the harass combination from yeah. Urgot that's really shut him down. Although yeah. I do really want to examine... Uh, uh, Katarina's build. I thought she was going to go for a revolver there with her double tomes, but she used, she used that axe to go for a bilgewater cutlass. So, uh, some life steal for Katarina well, she, right now. she's building the gunblade, uh, which is the, you know, the hybrid uh, item like we talked about, but the thing is, it's really unusual for Katarina players to build the uh, cutlass side first. They usually build right. the revolver side, usually and that's what threw us off. People we rushing actually have a gang down bottom. They may actually finally get Urg out here. Yeah, it looks like Urgot is in a world of hurt right now. Could Shivana pursue this for the kill? Here comes Katarina. Can we see a Lotus? Oh, Urgot does go down. Not enough damage overall. We are going to see a retreat now. Able to pick up that Shivana kill, feeding yeah. Katarina even further. I don't yeah. think she, she did use her Lotus to take that one, actually. But the cooldown yeah. significantly reduced, given that she did land that kill. Right. Overall, right, right. not a fair trade at all for Solution. They're in a big, big... <laughs> this could be a massive dive right now. This could be 4v3 under the tower, or they may just decide to push this tower. No, it looks like Jax is going to pull back, and they're going to be just fine down here. Diving yeah, uh, a rise, never really a good idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. And not not an Ezreal either, especially when he's the Tarek's there to, to uh, protect him. No, um, yeah, the, uh, that was a... I, I wouldn't say it was necessarily not in their favor. I think that trade maybe actually wasn't in Solution's favor because right now... Um, Yellow buff is not weak by any means, but they're still super reliant on their Urgot. Their Urgot is everything right now. He's their most farmed champion, and um, and he's basically got the best build. So you know, but there's some action mid, but Katarina's gonna barely escape. Um, yeah, Katarina's damage is, is is not it's not like Paiu level damage where he just walks in and carries the whole team. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be even as effective as Alex Pai no, was on Rise last close. game. I don't understand no. why he's doing this build. I mean, if you want to rely on Death Lotus the way he is, you have to have the spell vamp. Especially under a tower like that. He's just not dealing enough damage. Look yeah. at this. A showdown between Amumu and Olaf up top. Three levels ahead for Olaf. Is this wise for following me on Twitter to, to uh, no, pursue he's this? No, he's a goner. I'm not really was, sure what he's thinking, thinking with what that. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was a little confused there. I was like, is he, does he have backup coming? I don't, I don't see anybody. 
Um, no, that was uh, kind of silly. Katarina just got her gunblade. Um, she got the full gunblade, right? Yeah, she did. She finished her gunblade, so she's actually in a much better position now. She's actually, um, you're going to see her damage improve quite yeah. a bit. She did but, pick up um, the spell vamp, but still seriously lacking on the AP front, which is something that Katarina and spell vamp in general is very dependent on. However, yeah. she has been doing quite well. She's 3 0, so let's not judge too hard. We're just not used to seeing no, no, this, no, no. this more hybrid build. No, no, definitely not judging the player harshly. It's just an unusual build for us, and it's not. We're not seeing the same kind of uh, stunning plays we see at a Paiyu. You know, our other, right. our, our kind of our benchmark for Katarina play. Yeah, you know, definitely a good safer build for sure. Yeah, safer it, it as he has. Is, yeah. Uh, look at this though, Shivana looking like she wants to pick up a kill on Soraka. Oh Ooh, boy, could they grab Urga in this exchange as well? Here comes Katarina from the top. Gonna be dangerous for her to engage here. There's the Death Lotus. Ezreal easily gonna flash out of that one. Whoa, look nice. at the damage from that bouncing yeah, blade. There you go. Level That's five blade bouncing damage. blade. No, yeah, not, even, not even messing around. She, she leveled her Q first, and she's still gonna, gonna go down there. Not one. <laughs> Man. Two for two, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, don't want to feed this rise. It was not a good situation. Actually, the only reason that yellow buff came out on, came out even even on that was because of the Katarina mass Katarina damage, basically being a very superior um, character in that in that team fight. Because the so I mean, so the thing is, Sorak and Urgot are overstanding so badly bottom, and there's no reason to. And now that Shivana has been kind of uh, babysitting bottom a little bit more, that's the second time we've seen an attack where they've managed to pick off one of those bottom players, made them pay for it, right? Both times they were kind of saved by Katarina, but uh, they still they're, they're making those mistakes now. If Shivana had been ganking bottom like that all game long, then they wouldn't have even they wouldn't even be ahead right now. I mean, Ezreal's farm would be way better. Urgot wouldn't be two one and two. I mean, they really sh they really needed to pressure bottom like that. If it wasn't Shivana, at least have Rise down there. Rise would be a great choice for that um, mm -hmm. because Rise can just eat right through that. Ast doesn't care about that astral blessing. Uh, astral blessing, excuse me, armor buff. Um, that would have been a, even a better choice to roam bottom. They should have been roaming bottom all game long, and that's cost them really badly because now Urgot's at, what, 172 farm, which is pretty damn good. That's a very high elo farm. Uh, that's what you're expecting to have versus Ezreal 96, which is not its not even functional. I mean, he can't survive on that. Yeah. Uh, overall, though, this game is could still go either way. I mean, a significant advantage for yeah. yellow buff. We see Solution pretty far behind on Global Gold. Probably going to give up this next Dragon Kill as well. However, their Olaf, I do want to point out, has been able it's to key. catch up and dominate Jax. I'm not really sure how this Jax lost his lane uh, after having such a giant advantage, but Olaf, as we've seen, is one of those pentakill champions that can really late carry a game in a big way. So perhaps all eyes on Olaf, or yeah, perhaps... Was, yeah, Olaf is uh, clearly their carry now. Israel is not. Uh, they got to rely on Olaf for everything right now. Yeah, we are going to see a big team fight here. This all comes down to Olaf's damage. He's going to focus the right target. No, he's going to have to be forced to pull back. Barry's going to land the kill on Katarina. He's still alive right now, but Umumu is going to be able to pick him off, probably. Ezreal forced to retreat. Yeah, it does look like Yellow Buff is going to win this one fairly one-sidedly. Uh, only able to take down oh. one player there. Olaf just yeah, ca got caught way good. out of position there. Yeah, he was in a very bad spot and it was focused on pretty quick. I mean, he did pretty well considering, but I don't know if you saw that Ezreal ult in the beginning did nothing. I mean, it didn't even scratch them. Yeah. <laughs> Ezreal ult was totally... I mean, look at his items. What does he even have? He doesn't have anything. Um, yeah, this, uh, yeah, but uh, the only yeah. chance they have now is for the Olaf to... To really, the Olaf has to dominate. He's not building damage, though. He's building tank. And I, I don't necessarily disagree with that in a normal situation, but... He's, oh, here's you know, the swamp on Ace. To ace, actually oh, too late for an Ace, no. given that Tarek yeah. did just come yeah. up. But an unnecessary feat. He should be able to see that one coming. That uh, you can't, yeah. you cannot shift out of that Urgot ultimate. By the way, one of the most preposterous names in the game. It's Hyperkinetic Position Reverser. We yeah. always just call and it there's Swap. The game. They, they there's the game. The yeah, they just yeah. called GG there from Solution Gaming. Huge props to Yellow Buff. Turning around the first match and convincingly winning the second, By far, unexpectedly. Yeah. I expected despite, to see a much despite despite that first blood throw in the beginning, that was a little confusing. That was the only thing they did wrong, really. Um, yeah. I would say that Urgot and Soraka pushed up too far, and if now that these now that this team has won and they've gone to the finals against Reboot, that if they, even if they do Urgot Soraka, they cannot push up like that. Patuti is going to absolutely destroy them if they do that. So they've got to they've got to be more cautious. They got to be more like they were in the first ten minutes or so of the game, where they were hiding under the tower properly. As soon as they leave that river, they're done for with this combo. They would have to switch comps to a more uh, mobile, like you know, Tarek and uh, or Janna and uh, Corky or someone like that. But uh, with this combo, no, they have to be much more cautious.